Hey everyone, Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this quick video, I want to demonstrate the setup and usage of the Stripe Payments plugin for WordPress. Now, the first thing you want to do is get the plugin um, installed on your WordPress website. And you can go ahead and do that. You can go to the WordPress plugin repository and do a search, search for Stripe Payments. Or you can head directly to wordpress.org slash plugin slash Stripe hyphen payments. And then from there, go ahead and download it to your computer. And when you're in your WordPress dashboard, simply click on plugins and then add new. Upload plugin, choose file, double click it from your computer, find it on your computer, double click it, click install now. Activate the plugin. And from there you can go right to the settings menu for Stripe Payments. It's going to be it's going to show up right underneath the plugin name. Or you can go under settings and then accept Stripe Payments. And a page for checkout is created by default. You can leave that for now. And you can specify a default for the button text and the currency code. And for this demonstration, we're just going to go in sandbox mode. Um, I've already tested this on here, so my keys are already inserted. So I'll show you right now how to get those keys. Um, you should already have a Stripe account set up. It's free. It's quick to get registered with them. And here's mine here. Once you're logged in, we're in test mode right now. Now, under your account on the far right side, just click on account settings. And right across the top, you'll see API keys. And for this test, we're just going to use the uh, test keys here rather than live. And you just have to copy and paste those over. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Just make sure you put them in the right place. The bottom is this, but SK uh, stands for secret key. PK stands for publishable key. And copy those over make sure we're putting them in the right place and then click on save changes so once that's in place everything's set up and now you can start using the short codes that come with the accept stripe payments plugin in order to create the buy now buttons on your website so i already have a page set up uh, with a product here and now i'm just going to simply put in the short codes um, to get the buy now button working. All right, here's a default short code here, the standard setup. Now, essentially all it is is accept underscore stripe underscore payment. That's the name of the short code. And then you put a name for the name of the product. And then the price has to go in there. And of course the URL to download the product after successful payment. And then if you want to override the global button text, you can put that in there. And that's the basic setup for this short code. So we're going to take a look and see what that looks like on the website now. Okay, here's the page here that I created. Our Stripe Payments Buy Now button shows up. We just click on that. Then we can see that we can go ahead and make the payment through that sort of pop-up window there. Okay. And there's a few other configuration settings you can do with that short code, so we'll see how those changes are made. Now, you can, if you require a billing and a shipping address, you can add these parameters, billing underscore address equals one, shipping underscore address equals one. You add those right into the short code in order to require those fields during checkout. Okay, click on update. We'll refresh our page. And now the buy, buy now button should be refreshed and we can click on that now. And see that we have the option for the billing and the shipping info. So I'm gonna close that. And now if you wanna put your logo in there as well, you can add that in as well as the description. So I'll show you what the logo looks like first. It's um, item underscore logo is the parameter. And then you give a full URL for the logo. I already uploaded one to the website, to the media library. 
And so I'm going to paste that into the short code now to see how that looks. So you can just paste that parameter right to the end of the short code. Click on update. Refresh the page. And now our logo should be in place there. There it is at the top. So you're going to want to probably use a logo that fits within that circle there rather than the rectangle logo that I up uploaded. But this is just for demonstration purposes, so you can create a logo of that size, put it in place, um, probably a favicon or a different icon that can show up there. All right, and then the last parameter that we could put in is description. So if we want a custom description that can go in there, we can add that into the short code. Anywhere within the short code, we can add these parameters. Um, and then once they're added in, just click on update. Again, refresh the page. Click buy now, and now we should see the custom description that shows up in there. And there it is there. So as you can see, um, it, there's limitations to the number of characters for description and name. So you can play with the short code to get that uh, the way you want it to look. All right, that's it for now. This is a demonstration of the Accept Stripe Payments plugin for WordPress. Thanks for watching.